are they going to make Shuri the new Black Panther? Or is she just going to take the protagonist mantle just for this film? Black Panther 2, man. Just some quick, quick, some quick thoughts here. Very brief thoughts here. Uh, just really, really, really brief. This is a big movie for MCU. This phase has been garbage. This phase has been crap. This phase was led by TV. Most of the TV shows were not great. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I thought, was the best. But overall, they were not great. And this phase had the worst MCU film out of all. It's not Iron Man 2, it's not Iron Man 3. Thor Love and Thunder is the worst MCU movie out of everything. Because what that moron, Taika Waititi, did to the Thor character... No, 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 sorry. No, what's what Waititi and that piece of... That, that useless moron, Chris Hemsworth, did to the character, they should be jailed. They should serve time in prison in San Quentin and Alcatraz for what they did to the Thor character. So this is a big movie. Already, guys, accept this or not. See, my favorite MCU movie, and actually one of my favorite comic book movies, is First Avenger. You know, and I feel those three movies are amazing. Objectively speaking, not my view. Like my favorite films are Avengers. Yeah, no, yeah, it's our Avengers and the three Captain America movies. So Captain America, First Avenger, Winter Soldier, and Civil War. Civil War and Avengers. Those are my favorite films. And I do like Captain Guns of the Galaxy as well, the first one. But the best, objectively, is Black Panther. Objectively speaking, as a film, as like a film with acting and scenes to be taken seriously, the best film on, from an objective point of view is Black Panther. It is what it is. It's not my favourite, but it is objectively the, the best. So, Ryan Cook, there's a lot riding on this movie right now. So, we now hear that Namor is a mutant. That's very key. You're bringing in the X-Men now, because I think Phase 5 is the X-Men. You know, Phase 5 is Fantastic Four and the X-Men. I'm out of this Bombas MCU. See, I'm only going to watch most of this. Um, most of these four things I've not watched. <laughs> she, she Hulk. I'm watching this because Blacks. I've, 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 I've got to support Black. And Ran Kugler, I think, has hit a bullseye. It's also got Fruitville Station, Creed, Black Panther. Those are all bubbles that have hit. So I'm there to support Ran Kugler, who I think is one of the best upcoming directors out there. Should Shuri be the Black Panther? I get where they didn't want to recast. I get that. But the way I'm looking at that, I think that... Because maybe it's telling the comments. Are they going to make Shuri the new Black Panther? Or is she just going to take the protagonist mantle just for this film? This is a tribute to Chadwick Boseman, as it should be. As it should be, tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Let us slide. Let us give him a good tribute. And then the next film, we have a new Black Panther. I think that's the best way to go. Treat this film as a... Tribute to Chadwick Boseman, a homage to him, going to be very emotional. Next one, because he has to be, you can't have Shuri as Black Panther, you just, you have to have a new Black Panther. And my pick is Damson Idris. If those who've watched Snowfall will know, Damson Idris, I think, would be, make a great, great Black Panther man. He, oh, Damson Idris would be awesome. Damson Idris would be an amazing Black Panther. And he'd, he'd do the accents well because he's Nigerian. So yeah, man, um, what I think, I mean, I'm, look, I am curious. I wouldn't say I'm excited. I'm just curious as to what he would do because this looks like it could be a, a big movie. It looks like it's going to be a very big movie. And right now, so what do you guys think will be in Wakanda forever?